Max Verstappen this season has undeniably been the best driver on the grid by a long margin. Go on, just try and deny it. Go on. You're denying it? Well, you're wrong. Because he is the best driver this year. He has shown that he is a consistently good driver who makes little errors compared to what he used to do before the 2021 season. It seems like his championship winning season has helped him mature massively and he looks like a monster amongst men this season. At times, he has looked like he will never lose and has had many impressive drives such as in Hungary and Belgium. He could become a back-to-back -back world champion in Singapore and we will get into how that could happen soon. But he may also break an unbelievable record that even Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes could not beat. Well, what is that to record, you may ask? Well, let's go and take a look, shall we? Before we get into how Verstappen could win the championship in Singapore and what record he could break, let's take a quick look at this season. Max and Red Bull did not have the best start of the season as he DNF'd in two out of the first three races. And from here, many people already ruled Red Bull out of the championship as they had reliability issues, but also because Ferrari looked dominant. However, after Australia, Red Bull and Verstappen would win every single race up until the British Grand Prix, where he didn't get a win due to having significant floor damage early on in the race. In this time period from Australia to Silverstone, Verstappen won five out of the six races, with only Sergio Perez winning in Monaco. And this was really the only weekend of the whole season so far when Max was not up to pace. But in this time frame, Ferrari made several areas and also had engine issues of their own, meaning that Max could build his point gap between him and Leclerc. Even though in a lot of the races he was not in pole position, he has had a very good race compared to Ferrari, which allowed him to get into lead of most races and coast along to a win. It is very clear to see that his 2021 season and championship win gave him the confidence that allowed him to get everything out of the car and not make any costly mistakes that he may have done in the past. Before the 2021 season, when he had a tough to the wire button there. Before the 2021 season, when he had a tough battle to the wire with the seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, he would make mistakes in the races which would cost him massively. This could have easily been down to him being young, and we know he joined Formula One when he was just 17 and is the youngest ever driver and this will not be beaten due to the FIA changing its rules. Even though Verstappen has been in the sport for six years, he is just 24 and turns 25 at the end of this month. So there is even more room for improvement for the Dutchman. This is what's so scary for the whole of the Formula 1 paddock is that Max is so young and he can improve massively. And this season has shown everyone, even people who don't like him, how much of a talent he is. Even after the Austrian and British Grand Prix where Ferrari would get back-to-back -back wins, Max would bounce back and win the next two races in France where he would gain a massive point on Leclerc due to Charles making a big mistake. In Hungary, Max would start P10 due to engine issues in Q3, meaning he could not get a competitive time in. He would again dominate the race, finishing in P1, even with a very nice spin to go with it. After the summer break, many people said with the new FIA directive, which meant Red Bull had to make some changes to their floor, that Red Bull would come slower. This was far from the case. Max would start on P16 due to picking up engine penalties, and he would again show his true class by him taking home another win with a huge gap back to his teammate Sergio Perez, who started P2 on the grid. This again shows that he is levels above Perez, who is driving the same car. In Zandervoort, he would again win his home race, even though it looked like Hamilton's race to lose. And in Monza, he would start P7 due to another engine change. And again, he would go on to take another dominant win. This is when we come to the present day, where Max Verstappen is 116 points ahead of P2, who's Charles Leclerc, and Red Bull 139 points ahead of Ferrari, further showing how he is driving to a high standard. Does Max Verstappen have the ability to win many world championships as Vettel did at Red Bull, or will he go on and break Lewis Hamilton's and Michael Schumacher's joint record of seven world championships? Or will Verstappen only win 
if Red Bull gives him the car he needs. We know it's highly unlikely that we ever leave that time after recently signing a long-term contract. But what do you think? Will Max become one of the greats? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to like the video and subscribe while you're there. Now, how can Max Verstappen win the championship in Singapore, which could make him joint as the quickest championship winner with Michael Schumacher if he wins the championship in Singapore, which is five rounds before the end of the season. But before we get into more records Verstappen could win, how can he actually win the championship in Singapore? Well, it is very complicated. So make sure to strap in and listen up to this bit. So, in one scenario that could happen if Verstappen's win is he will need to Leclerc to finish P9 or lower and Sergio Perez to finish P4 or lower without the fastest lap. Or Perez finishes P5 or lower with the fastest lap. Another way that Max can be a double world championship, as in Singapore, if he wins with the fastest lap and Leclerc finishes P8 or lower and Perez has finished P4 or lower. Now, these chances are very rare to happen, but we know that Leclerc and Ferrari may make another one of their infamous mistakes, which could mean he could finish P9 or lower. Perez has also not been on the pace of Verstappen, or even with Mercedes as of late, so it could be possible that he does finish P4 or lower, with the migrating circumstances. But it is more likely that Verstappen will take home his second world championship in Japan if he continues and all he needs to do is leave the weekend with a 112 point lead over P2 in the championship. So the question is, will Verstappen take his foot off the gas and pretty much coast the final rounds after Suzuka? Well, the short answer is probably no. Verstappen said when asked if Red Bull will continue this form even though he has pretty much won the championship, we want to win more. So clearly, Max will want to continue on his form of winning in the last five races, and maybe he could break Sebastian's record of winning the most races in a row. Vettel won nine races in a row in his dominant 2013 best and final championship with Red Bull, with Max winning the last five rounds and having six rounds left of the season, he could easily break that record that was seen never to be broken. This could easily be motivation for him as this would alleviate his status as a Formula 1 driver and he could be easily respected a lot more. Do you think Max will win the championship next time out in Singapore, or will he wait until Japan? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. One record that Max Verstappen could break and would show everyone how good of a driver he is, and this is the record for the most wins in a season, which is 13, which is a joint between Sebastian Vettel and Michael Schumacher. Now, Verstappen is on 11 already, and there are six races left of the season. He would only need to win four out of the next six, which is looking very possible if he continues his form, and Ferrari continues to be a laughing stock of the team at times. Overall, it is pretty fair to say that if Verstappen breaks this record, which looks unbeatable, he would cement himself into the greats of Formula 1, even at the age of 24. Do you think Max Verstappen will be considered one of the greatest of all times when he eventually retires? Or will he drop off once Ferrari and Mercedes improve in the coming season? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to like this video and subscribe for more fascinating Formula 1 content.